Welcome to Raven Silver. Please go to my channel, or hit the notification bell, like this video, and share. Let me introduce you to a word called discreet. This is the word that you girls need to look out for because this word is killing a lot of transgender women. Now, a lot of trans women, women feel as though a lot of times they want to meet guys because God have compassion and stuff. He discreet. He don't want anybody to know what he's doing. We're being murdered. We're being killed. We are protecting our killer. Don't even know it. Now, not all men want to kill us, but at the end of the day, we are being killed behind the word of discreet. Let's be clear. Have enough for one of your sisters has been killed? Haven't we seen enough? And they use the word, they laugh, they smile to get us to believe that they're different. Trans lives matter. But who does it matter? To the girls that look like us? Let me introduce you to the cousin called Download. DL means that I'm doing something I shouldn't be doing. Now I'm sneaking. I have a whole nother life that I don't want you to even know about. I'm going to give you a fake name. But at the end of the day, I am DL. And when I leave, I don't want nobody to see me leave. Because I may have to kill you. When I kill you, you won't expect it. When I go to your place, I want to make sure no one sees me get there. And once I kill you, I'm going to actually walk out your door and not be seen again. Oh, we're not tired of this storyline. Trans lives matter. We're being killed. We're being murdered. Two words, discreet, down low. I'm tired of bearing my sisters. I'm tired of saying this story. Please be aware of down low life, men. Down low means I'm doing something I shouldn't be doing. Maybe even killing you. Discreet means when I do it, I make sure you accomplish to your own murder. Stay woke. Just because he smiles and make you laugh don't mean he kill, won't kill you. Just because he's cute don't mean he won't kill you. Are you not tired of your sisters being murdered? It seems like the only one seems to matter, to understand it the most, is the one who says, Oh no, I won't be next. I'm ready. We have to rebuke. That thing he keeps using that he didn't know. Oh baby, he knew exactly what he was doing. Stay woke. Share this video every way you can. Keep your sisters alive. Welcome to Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? 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 What's What's going on, people? Subscribe to my channel. <sighs> What's going on, people? It is a day of another day of another day that we call whatever day. Anyway, what's going on, people? Hopefully, everybody's doing everything as far as being safe. In this world, we're living in and knocking down doors and making your dreams come true and practicing ignore. Had a brain fart and stuff like that. Um, thing about it is that I just have a lot in my mind and stuff and a lot going on. You know, um, with the world. As you already know, the coronavirus, the quarantine, people getting restless, people getting tired. Um, so everything is starting to transpire, which I thought before was going to start happening. It's actually starting to happen. People are getting restless. People are not really following the rules. They just found the man in, um, in Newark on, on the ground by the hospital. They found him dead just a few minutes ago or yesterday. Or I just saw it on Facebook. You know, it, it is so hip, it's so horrific the things that we're going through right about now. But this title at hand is the DL Discreet Life. And I want to make sure I stay focused on just this subject because simple fact of the matter is that it is a question that a lot of men have asked me and I always ask men, are you DL or discreet? DL is the cousin or the brother of discreet. Now, in case you don't notice, we can compare notes. Go down at the bottom, comment below, share this video where you can. I want you to share your notes, how you feel about this. DL means this person that's basically don't wonder why they know their sexual preference. So what they do is they sneak around. Now, sometimes DL doesn't mean just a gay person could be a woman or his mistress, his wife. You know, it's the L. That basically I'm sneaking because I don't feel comfortable what I'm doing because it is wrong. The L means that I'm doing something wrong within myself. Now, God was like, well, that's not what it really means. Yes, that's what it means. Down low. I've never thought it said up high. It said down low for a reason. Because you're going down low doing something you're supposed to do. Now, when you are a two-spirit woman 
and you get a man that says he's DL, your options become less than. And the options become less than because he's letting you know from the door, I can't be seen with you. I'm ashamed of what I'm doing. Hell, I'm ashamed of being with you. I don't want nobody to know what I'm doing. I'm sneaky. He could have a wife. He got a family, all stuff like that. He's trying to make sure he gives credibility, understands that everybody feels so he is, and not let them know who he really is being on the DM. He'll give you all kinds of names, sometimes fake names, stuff like that. It is what it is. Now, the brother or the cousin, which I call the squeak. The one thing that trans women or two-spirit women or anyone should be afraid of is the discreet man. The discreet man is the cousin of down low. I'll just put the cousin. Now, when I say this, I want you to listen to me clear. And I want you to hear exactly what I'm saying. Some of you are going to receive the message. Some of you are going to know exactly what I'm talking about. Some of you ain't going to care. And I'll be doing a blog about you. Just the thing. This is what he'll say, and it comes to girls like us. Do anyone knows about you? These are questions he's marking off. You thinking, oh my God, no, 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 because you're in your glory of all this oopala land. You not really realize what he's doing to you. Do anyone knows about you? No. Is there a possibility that you could put something in the door, or you could buzz me in? I don't want no one to see me walking through the door to see you. Just creep. Okay, that's not a problem. People do it all the time. Put stuff in the door, but normally they do it for other reasons. Sometimes they want to get clothes or, you know, hair or, or, or supplies. But he knows the pattern. So, you put something in the door or you buzz them in, which means that you don't really know this perfect stranger coming into your house. Once upon a time, the squeak didn't exist. You want to meet up? We meet up somewhere, da da da. But now, discreet, it does exist, but you know what I mean? It doesn't, it didn't exist extremely as it is now. So now, all of a sudden, he's on his way. If you don't know this man, he could be a man just got out of prison. He could have got out of jail for manslaughter. He could have done a lot of things. All he knows that a lot of felons and criminals know that they go online, they could get easy access to you because you basically are that in need of a man. <sighs> the energy he's going to bring to your house is going to be dark and negative. He's not going to bring you the energy you're thinking, oh my God, someone accepts me, somebody said to my truth, oh my God, he's so cute, he's so this, he's so that, he made me laugh on the phone, he did all this thing. This is just what he does, this is great. He's going to win you over, he's got to get your guard down, so he's being discreet. He's going to let you believe that he's okay. In fact, he'll join in the conversation on, I can't stand about these real men. I'm a real man. I'll knock a motherfucker out. I, I, I'm a real man. I'll go anywhere with you. But still, he wants to see you first before he goes anywhere with you. So he's on his way to stay stuff like this to see you and stuff. You open up your door. Everyone knows that. Must have been the time you've let a vampire come to the door. He comes to suck the blood out of you. According to legend, a vampire cannot enter a home uninvited, but once you have invited them in, they are free to come and go as they please. So beware of vampires. These are the ones we don't even know. Now some of you say, well, Raven, are they vampires? Well, I just feel as though there's a lot of truth within this. I also want to share with you this. Every popular monster story is actually about some real world fears. Vampire need to be invited in because the lesson being taught by particular vampire story is don't let strangers who might be a rapist into your house. They're also religious metaphors about how evil only has power over those who subscribe to temptation. So it is something to think about. I just want to keep you woke and keep you aware and keep you alive. Anyway, back to Raven. It's in your door. He has the best alibi for killing you. No one saw him come in, unless you got surveillance cameras, and no one will see him coming out. Only thing they will know is that he can't see somebody in the building. They don't know exactly who, unless someone's seen him. Now it's out of 10, he got a hoodie on the hat, he's so covered up. Hell, you wouldn't even be able to recognize him. He worked closely, he probably didn't wear again. Now he goes into your apartment, stuff like that. He has sex with you. 
Oh, he's doing all the extra stuff. Now, when I'm saying this, I'm speaking of the transgender women. He's having sex with you. He's doing all these things. In fact, he decides he wants you to do him because he's so caught up in the sauce. Listen, this is something I'm going to try him watching porn. He wants to experiment for you to do this on him. So now, you're doing this stuff on him. He's basically bracing his body, getting all ready for the juices and the meats to go inside of him so he can feel cunt like he make his wife or his girlfriend feel when he's at home. So you're fulfilling the role that he always wants to fulfill. It's called role reversal. Now, when I say these men, a lot of people say, well, they're, they're gay, they're, they're flaming. No, these men are hardcore men. These are the same men that make fun of gay people. These are the same ones that laugh. These are the ones that make jokes. Then they're the same ones that bent over to somebody go inside his body. Not all men, but you know what I'm saying. So at this point, y'all have sex, you laugh, and you say, you know what? Give me a couple of dollars, because I, I, I can. She'll say, I don't have a couple of dollars. He's like, well, I'm sure you got a couple of dollars, because now he must be paid for his fee. Because he's always like, hey, I gave you my body. Now you got to give me some money. She said, well, I don't have any money. Because most girls are like, I'm spending all money, I'm not giving you no money, but I'm like, you're supposed to give me money. He takes her, goes to the room, get a knife, and kill her. Backtrack on. He did discreet. He covered his tracks. Now, six out of ten, he's going to wipe everything that he touched. He's going to make sure you don't touch too much of anything, and he's going to get out of your house. Now, six out of ten, you're in the house bleeding. You're already murdered. You're dead. He leaves. I've done this story over and over and over again. I'm a witness to listening to this over and over again. I just wish people would wake up. Remember, she did him. The cops found out the surveillance video showed he was at this place serving the time for surveillance everywhere. Guess what he says? Come on, y'all, say it with me. I didn't she know tricked me. She I didn't know she was born a man. man. I was tricked. I felt tricked. He's saying it because he feels as though you get empathy. And the world will sign on and say, you know what? That's what they get. They need to stop tricking them. Leave men alone. You're tricking them. Men are not stupid. I've never once laid in the bed with a man. The man will do the reach around. He may grab you here, but baby, he's going to grab you here. And any cis woman knows that he's going to do that. So now, world signs on. Let's get some video or some type of text messages, which I always say y'all do. When you got these guys coming to the street, take a picture of him, tell him you need a picture. Because you got to send that picture over to your sister, your family, and your friends. So while he's being discreet, you cover your ass. Now, lately they've been getting caught. But this is the thing that gets me. You murder, you dead. If you're lucky, he'll get life. But hell, guess what? 10 years, 15 years, he'll be out. 15 years, prison. You get out on good behavior, he's out on the street less than his, his time being served. Coronavirus let people out now. And the thing is, you're dead. Your life didn't mean nothing to him. When I did this story of to um, Ty Underwood, I'm not going to put that up there, and hit the guy that basically, um, Carlton Champion Jr., he was laughing through the whole, the whole thing. The detectives Miss Ginger Ty Underwood called her all kinds of names. Oh yes. Oh yes, that's what they're gonna call you when your body is found. A male has been found dressed like well, oh Miss Ginger down, honey. Oh you will be Miss Ginger. All the name changing. Unless you have the SRS and everything has changed as far as SRS and the surgery. Baby, they're going to call you all kinds of men. When, when it goes out on the news and everything, a man has been found killed. Some cases, they have learned to be more name sensitivity. And when they say dead names, because literally, you are the dead name. Because you're dead with the new name and the old name. And the thing is, all the work you did in your body, all the stuff you did in the world, you're going out being known as a man. Now she's doing interrogation reference to this guy calling you all kinds of men. You like men, you gay, you gay, interrogate me. He's like, no, I don't. He shouldn't say he don't, because he saw a woman. That's the way I have sex with a woman. He didn't have a sex with a man. 
and see the wrong question is being asked here. So of course, and the detectives calling her all kinds of means. You gay? You like men? You're interrogating him, and it's not working. He's laughing. He's enjoying it, and it's sad. Cause there's a lot of Tyrone. There's a lot of Carlton champions out here, and even though he got life in prison, I guarantee you. Let a certain period of time come, it'll get overturned. Somewhere around the line, he'll get slipped out. Watch what I tell you. He'll be going home. He'll be in already on the, the way of doing it now. Here it is a girl that was murdered. Did everything right. Here it is we do everything right. Try to find me law-abiding citizens. Try to get jobs up in there. Whether it's in the escort sex working business or in a legal business of the government. We're trying to do everything right to step out the best way we can under the circumstances. Here is the man that comes into our world that puts accept us and actually end up killing us. Discreet. All under the word of discreet. The cousin of the L. And you felt for because he was so cute. So I'm saying this to you, my sisters. And I want you to hear me loud and clear. When a man says discreet in the L, those are your warning signs. Prepare your house and dressing. Everything in your house will be trapped. Don't let your eyes off him for one second. Watch everything he does. Watch everything he do. If he picks up the call, make sure it's not a call to call somebody else up to knock on your door while you're in there. So he said, baby, you scaring them. You scaring I'd rather them be mad at me and alive than dead and didn't know. This is just my opinion. But I want you to comment below how you feel about the word discreet. Discreet. And I had a conversation with a guy who was like, well, you're looking at DL as a negative thing. How is it positive? How can you sit down and tell a child, well, I want you to be DL. I want you to be DL about yourself. You tell them to be ashamed. The brainwashing job that has been done on people is so powerful that people still do it and don't even recognize they're doing it because they're so convinced that that is the right way. We've been taught down from slavery that if somebody don't do what you want to do, you beat them. Men took that on, they beat their wives. The wives take it on, they beat their children. The beating and the beat. We don't have, we don't have the conversation. You know what people say? Well, there was nothing wrong with getting beat to me because you wasn't taught no other way. You wasn't taught no other way. So quite naturally, you're going to pass on the beating of your child. Not all cases. Some people, some black people actually wake up. But there's so many that won't. Some of y'all will receive this message. Some of y'all will understand where I'm coming from. Some of y'all going to end up staying alive. And some of y'all going to have you doing another commentary on your death and I really hope not anyway I just want to share this with you please comment below what you think about this screen and DL let me know you feel at the bottom at the top there's an Instagram button if you follow me I'll follow you back there's also a PayPal in case you want to contribute to this channel let's try I love you and thank you for watching Catherine oh right now come on baby let's go on Instagram Ooh, like I said before subscribe to my channel at the top there's an Instagram button if you follow me, I will follow you back. Let me know how you feel to this video. Comment below. Discreet, down low. Danger signs. Stay awake. Stay alive. Stay around. Share this video every way you can. We have to keep our sisters alive. Hell, we have to keep everybody alive. At the end of the day, we're in the belly of the beast. And everybody who smiles in our face is not our friend. PayPal on top. Love you. Love you.